lost in Auckland. Eddie Krinchevich returns to his homeland to wear the Socceroo shirt for the first time since 1981 on this soil and will want to prove that his status as one of Europe's top marksmen is no accident. His battle with giant Israeli defender Nir Alon will be one of the features of the match as it was in Tel Aviv. The victor of that duel may well decide the outcome of this match. The Israelis too feel the lineup of glamour and riches. Their attacking trio of Tikva, Ohana and Rosenthal would also fetch over $2 million and today they are going for a win. The visiting camp caused a surprise by dropping defenders Imuz and Pizanti. Today, Krenchevich, uh, without saying, a very, very key player for Australia. His ability to dominate in the air will be a key factor should we be able to win. And that man's influence, the referee, on uh, that individual duel there between Alon and Krenchevich, uh, hopefully he'll pull Alon up early. It's a, a normal tactic for the defender to soften up the forward early on. No one will send you off but hopefully the yellow com card comes out very early because that will be an obvious tactic from Israel today. John, uh, what fascinates me here is that we've got this lethal trio of strikers in Farina, Krinchevich and Mitchell, and yet the Israelis have dropped one of their man-to-man -man markers, Shlomo Iluz, who did a good job uh, last time in Tel Aviv, and unless Klinger and Davidi get marking jobs, I don't know how they're going to hold those. Well, it's a very strange tactic, Les. All I can say is that Israel, rather than what we all expected, to sit back and defend the draw, have decided, well, we're going to go out and at least have a crack at winning this game. They've got a great chance through Rosenthal and Ohana, but we all did expect them to sit back and defend and uh, be, use those counter-attacks very effective through the speedy Rosenthal and the skillful Ohana. That, of course, now has changed and it does indicate that the game could be a lot more open than we believe it's going to be. I really simply believe that if we can get supply to Mitchell and Krenchevich, we're in with a big chance here this afternoon. And we're away in the big one. Australia, of course, in the yellow shirt, attacking the goal to our right. The fans behind that man, Jeff Olber, are the noisy Australian fans. They will be happier in the second half, I expect, when Australia attacks that goal. But they've been creating quite a lot of noise early in the warm-up period and Australia can expect quite noisy support here today over with the clearance Arnold is under that manages the touch onto Krinchevich headed away by Amar little Amar who did the job as a sweeper in uh, Tel Aviv playing at left back David Pizanti's position today Credo back to Yankos and Jeff Oliver will want that one and there was a lot of talk over the last couple of days about the Australian team needing to be patient, not to be over-eager, not to be uh, impatient about going for that early goal. But I must say that if Australia did get an early goal here today, and by early I mean in the first half hour or so, that will be a sign of very good things to come for Australia. Jeff Alder, one of the men under pressure today. This is the long one towards Krinchevic. Davidi gets ahead to it, Rosenthal, Sinai loses out, here's Arnold. Klinger giving it away, here's Krino. Arnold, who meant for Krinchevich. And there was a foul, or so Graham Arnold fought, and indeed the referee agreed with him, by Moshe Sinai on Graham Arnold. Referee Carlo Longhi right on the spot to give the free kick early. And a good sign for Australia there, Les, the referee right on the spot. It's, it's an incident most of us missed. He didn't, and uh, indicates just how he's going to be on to this uh, fouling tactics behind the play. Shovel with a cross. Mitchell. Farina! Blocked! Here's Van Eggman looking for Arnold on the left, and it's too wide for him. It'll be a throw to Israel. And at this early stage, no matter how patient the Australians are, it'll be Israel who will have to weather the storm. I don't expect that they will be coming at the Australians, certainly not at this stage of the game. Here's Klinger. Robbed by uh, Krinchevich or Krino, who loses out in the end. It's got back by Davidson. Now Wade. Charlie Yankos. Finding Mitchell, but there was a foot that came in from Amar to give the ball away, and it'll be an Australian throw. Frito with the throw, finding Mitchell. Behind him is Amar. Now Shavor. Hoisting it in. 
the high ball in towards Fritschovic away by Pasolani but only as far as Arnold and finally away by Tikva who's dropped back deep and now on the run is Ronnie Rosenthal Ronnie Shavo can't catch up with him Charlie Yankos is there now and Rosenthal misused his cross there's the danger there's for Australia the quick counter-attack Rosenthal a player highly respected by the Australians he's very fast professional in Europe can cause all sorts of problems and that's the type of incident Australia have to be careful of today it, it's already clear that Australia are going to press Israel on the counter-attack and Rosenthal with those three speedy breaks is the danger man for us Wally Shavel will have to do his marking job quite uh, astutely he will have to make sure that he cuts off the angle of his runs properly because he's clearly a lot quicker than Wally so he's going to have a sweaty job on today the long ball from Charlie Yankos finds Wade whose header in finds Amar and that's a foul by Farina on Amar and Carla Longhi across quickly we have a strong word to Frank Farina well, as a saying Les uh, in these games you should always get in with the foul first and that's what Farina has done normally it's the defender giving stick to the forward it was uh, was a bad foul from Frankie the referee didn't miss it but at least Farina's let Omar know that uh, he's going to be in there first today well Frank Arrow didn't predict a pretty game today he could be right it certainly won't be a game for school children here's Tikva lovely mover on the ball and finds Klinger with a lovely ball who's out wide with him is Davidson he eludes him sends the cross in away by Van Egmond here's Tikva and there's pressure from the Israelis that's blocked by Krino Davidi and offside against Elio Hanna Elio Hanna one of the danger men today 29 cap just one short of his 30 and the top scorer in this Israeli lineup 10 goals to his name so far his 10th coming with a penalty against Australia in Tel Aviv Yankos' free kick is to Davidson Frida on his left Arnold wants it you know running out of space into Arnold now Wade is available. Paul Wade playing more in the middle of the park than he did in the last couple of games. Now through for Princevich, who's a lovely runner off the ball. Tikva sends it forward towards Ohana, but it comes to Van Egman. Prino back to Yank Yankos. Davidson. Marina's on his left, wide on the touchline. Richevich, well marked again by Alon. Davidson, keeping possession is important. Here's Wade. Mitchell, marking him is Amar. Marking him well. Davidson making himself available. More of a roving role from him as well. Here's Mitchell, trying to break through. Prino. Wade, still the Aussies. Yankos has now made himself available so the play could be switched. But back it comes, and it's a long one. I don't think David Mitchell was awake to what Charlie Yankos had in mind. It'll be an Israeli throw. And the crowd, the people are still coming to the stadium. And now the stadium looks at least three quarters full. I think we might just have a record crowd here today for a soccer match bigger than the 28,000 we had here for the Gold Cup final against Brazil. Frank Arok, John Margaritis next to him. Well, Frank's chosen this career. I wouldn't know why. What he must be feeling now is not exactly the envy of the world. Here's the free kick coming from Amar. Ohana is the target. With him is Van Egmond. Van Agnum's the winner, Wade. It'll be back home to keeper Olva under a little bit of pressure. Porsche Sinai was coming in. This match going live right around Australia. And for 
Sydney viewers and indeed viewers all around Australia full re replay later tonight on SBS. Here's Paul Wayne. this kind of refereeing from Manfred Neumer in from Manfred Neumer in uh, Tel Aviv and also from uh, Monsieur Bouillet in Auckland and there is the incident again Frank Farina the target of Harvey Cohen and the tackle from behind so a free kick again to Australia and as Johnny Warren said a minute ago another set piece of potential value to the soccer rules. Charlie Yankos will take it, hurling it in, lofting it, weighed it on the far side, away by Amar. A crowd of blue shirts in the penalty area. Ten minutes almost have gone. No score still at the Sydney Football Stadium. Here's Alan Davidson. Wally Chavo. Back to Davidson. Marina's wide on the left, unmarked at the moment. And that's a good ball to Mitchell, and he likes those turns. Cross inside, the way by Alon. Good move by Australia. Mitchell, the man to be complimented, and that man too, Alon, who rescued the Israelis. It's a lovely piece of positioning by Mitchell. And Paul Wade did so well to find him in the gap. Mitchell did one of his classic turns, sent a good cross in and needed all the athleticism of Niralon to rescue the Israelis. Here's the first corner. In it comes. Ginsburg is up. He can't punch. Mitchell. Prino's coming in. Elio Hanna's there. And the referee's blown for a free kick to Israel. And Yitzhak Schnell, one of the the older and more mature and perhaps more senior of the two Israeli coaches. What a day for him today. Here's Yankos. Playing deep today, a midfield role. So often does for his club to the Croatia. Trino. Kvinchevich can break and send the cross in. Arnold! And Tikva, of all people, arrived. He leaps away off the field. But Tikva was the man who did the damage. And Tikva... There is the replay. Dangerous cross sent in by Eddie Kvinchevich. Up went Mitchell or Arnold with Tikva. And Tikva is going to leap away. Looks like he pulled the muscle in his left thigh. So that's real problems for... Israel, but here from another angle is the incident. Lovely cross from Eddie Krinchevic and Tikva doing the rescuing for the Israelis. And there is Shalom Tikva, came back, rejoined the Israeli party for the match in Auckland, the two-all draw. He hadn't played uh, for a number of weeks before that, and this is only his second game after a long layoff. John, that will be a blow to the Israelis. It looks as though he's going to come back on, but a strange decision by the referee to hold play up while he does come back on. Once the player's off the field, the game carries on. The refereeing, apart from that really first class so far, Les, they're on to everything. Here's the cross in from Prino, and again a close shave. And already Australia, Les, using their ability in the air, I, I just believe that they can terrorise Israel. Krenchevich, Mitchell, and then you, got, you add in Wade and Arnold. It really is a strength. And uh, it was interesting that first free kick Australia took, Krenchevich and Mitchell picked up really well by the Israelis, but Wade left free beyond the far post. So Australia have a lot of variations, and so far they've used them intelligently. But uh, already indications that this is not just going to be Israel defending, it's going to be a very, very open game. And uh, lots more action, I'm sure, ahead of us in the remaining 80 minutes. Here's Shalom Tikva, recovered and back, falls over. Ball stolen by Alan Davidson. Klinger comes across to give it away. It'll be an Australian throw. Davidson. And Frido on the end of this lovely pass from Eddie Krinchevich. Krinchevich makes his way to the middle. It's driven in by Frido, away by Marcellani. Davidson. And 
too long even for somebody as quick and speedy as Frank Farina. Frank Farina back on deck for the Aussies. Good sight to see him back with his team. He has played now 34 full international games for Australia. Still looking for his 10th goal. He scored nine. Cohen with a free kick. Put it back by Van Eggman. Johannes Marker. That's Prino. Dickbar. Wade. Well, there's been a lot of spoiling at the back by the Israelis, but the Australians have done a lot of spoiling of their own, particularly in the, when it came to the Israeli midfield. Here's Davidson. Yankos. Van Egmond has made himself available. Lots of space in front of him. Princevich. Oscar Prino. Across for Shavor. It's not the best of surfaces down there, by the way. Quite dry and quite bumpy. A lot of rugby league has been played here in recent times, and a lot of rain has fallen in Sydney. Klinger. Barcelona, or indeed Tikva. Now, Ohana, Klinger. Davidi finds Amar. Alon, Sinai. Blocked by Arnold. Alon again. Out of play. And the linesman has favoured the Australians with a throw. the Israelis to get away. Now Rosenthal with a cross in. Dangerous! Oh, what a lovely save. A terrific save by Jeff Olva. Kenny Ohana was the man who made the shot. There was a deflection, I thought, after he made the shot. And tremendous instinctive save by Jeff Olva. Here's the cross from Ronnie Rosenthal. Allowed to get away. There was the deflection from Van Egmond and the fabulous save by Jeff Olva. Look at it from another angle. Sent in by Rosenthal. A volley. And there, there was the uh, deflection. And that must have caught Jeff Olver in all sorts of places. And he made the fabulous save. Frank Arrow breathes easy. In comes the corner. Header down. Away by Yankos. Header was from Alon. Then away by Davidson. Well, that little mistake by... Paul Wade in the middle of the park, or at least uh, on the halfway line, has showed us that you can't give the Israelis an inch job. Well, it just proves, uh, Liz, where they're going to be dangerous. Again, Rosenthal involved, even though Australia making the running. Israel terribly dangerous on the counter-attack, particularly Rosenthal. What a great save from Jeff Olver. He's had a fair bit of stick since the game in New Zealand. Really determined to come out and prove he's uh, the number one keeper in Australia. That was a fabulous re reflex save. But again, Australia really can't afford to give Rosenthal too many chances like that. Frank Farina forces a corner at the other end. A corner will be taken by Oscar Crino. A bit of shoving and pushing in the area. And it's an outswinger. Princevic can't get the head to it. Amar away. Back straight at Crino. Who will let it go for the throw. And in fact has taken it. Davidson sends it in towards Mitchell. Barcelona down, good header, finds his man, but it's given away. And the Israelis are now breaking. Here's Rosenthal. This is danger for Australia. Shavor can't catch him. Over has to come. It comes well. And the referee has given a corner. And a correct decision too, Les. Israel are complaining. All the went for the ball. Not a penalty at all. But Australia, again, here's Rosenthal again. We've been on about him all the game. There's absolutely no cover now. But uh, I, I felt a, a correct decision. The discussion now between the linesman I think and so the too, referee. Jeff. I think so too. And I mean, I mean uh, Jeff Olver went for the ball. He was not expected to get out of the way of Rosenthal. He, he, he was down on the floor. 
uh, where his momentum carried him, Rosenthal should have hurdled him. So it's a corner that's been given after Carla Longhi has popped all the abuse of the Israeli players. And Moshe Sinai, who's quite deadly with these corners, he hasn't even scored from, from them directly, will take it. Swings in. Olva pushes it behind. This is some pressure for Australia. Goodness me, 90 minutes of this can take years of your life. 18 minutes gone now, almost 19. As we look at this corner again, Jeff Olva in fine form today. It'll be a corner from the other side. Sinai going across. And these boys, Schnauer and Grunman, know that they really have a chance here, the Israelis. So far, so far they wouldn't be unhappy about things either. Moshe Sinai, left foot of his time, swinging out. Alon is up, he has to make a volley. Farina with a long clearance. He'll go out of play, it'll be a throw to Israel. Halfway between the halfway line and the byline. So the pressure back on the Australians. Remember that a draw is enough for Israel. Ohana. Trino. Alon is up for this, but Krinchevich wins it in the air. Krinchevich wants the throw, but he won't get it. And the huge crowd has been allowed in here. Now the membership areas have been opened up, I'm happy to tell you. And to me, it looks like a full house. I'm curious to see what the crowd is. kick to Australia. Frank Garoff, offensive that he's going to be until that first goal for Australia comes. We have now had just over 20 minutes. Charlie Yankos with a free kick. Into the high men again. Mitchell only finds Parcelani. Here's Van Eggman. goes for another Israeli throw. Gary Van Eggman, and there's the man he's marking today, Kelly O'Hana. There's just a small section of this huge crowd here today. Enormous. Man down for the Israelis. Well, I don't know, John, but it looks to me like just about a full house here. I think it's more than a full house, Les, but uh, just back to this incident, it's Alon who trips, falls into the legs there of uh, Frenchovic. But Israel won't be in a hurry. Any corner kicks or free kicks or incidents like this, the, the more they can slow the game down, the more they can put Australia out of their stride. It will be just use the clock up, try and catch Australia on the break, and they've already shown three incidents where they can be so effective. Alon's all right. Use the clock up put Australia out of their stride and uh, it's up to Australia somehow to try and over overcome this tactic. So a throw on the far side to be taken by Avi Cohen. Finds Ohana, Avi Cohen again. Cohen. Now Tikva. Krinchevich the winner here. And Alon is going to be reprimanded and that's the sort of thing that uh, Alon was doing in Tel Aviv at the Ramat Gan against, against Eddie Krinchevich. Uh, but the referee right on top of that one. Charlie Ankos will take the free kick. Long one in towards Krinchevich. Header by Wade, but a soft one towards Ginsburg. No problems for him. I must say at this stage, although the Australians have certainly taken the game to the Israelis, Ginsburg hasn't really been under any great pressure so far. Van Eggman, Trino. Overdid it a bit. Sinai the winner. Ohana. And now the Israelis will get a free kick for that infringement. Ohana. 
He was in a fine mood at training Elio Fana, and he was doing just this sort of thing. Graham Arnold was in there quickly and gave away the foul for the tackle from behind. So it'll be a free kick to be taken by Sinai. Lost it, curling it towards Ohana, and Avi Cohen was there as well. Ohana down for Tikva. Van Eggman. Play on, says the referee. Klinger robbed by Yankos. It'll be a throw. With him is Van Eggman. Again the foul. Harvey Cohen has gone forward, as have quite a number of Israelis. Eddie Pitchford has dropped back to mark Miralon. And it's essential that everybody's picked up here for the Israelis, but it floats into the arms of Jeff Olbach. The Australians will have to settle. They've weathered some pressure here over the last five, ten minutes. There are 90 minutes in the match. Plenty of time to score the one goal needed. Well done, Frankie Farina. Davidson. Looks for a man. Diagonal right, run. Try to flick it on to Arnold. And Pedro does well. Davidson with the nutmeg on Tikva. Pedro. Wade. Wade running into trouble in the shape of Tikva. Now Charlie Yankos. Sends it forward towards Mitchell. It's to the wrong side of him, and he goes out for another Israeli throw. I suppose, John, that the Australians will still need to fashion that cohesion a bit. These three strikers, Mitchell and uh, Krinchevich and Farina, have never played together. Well, they've never played together with the midfield, and I think it's, uh, it's a fair comment that uh, we wouldn't expect them to gel in as though they've been, been playing together forever. Ever. But... Uh, when you bring three players back, and the temptation is to bring back Krenchevich and Mitchell and Farina, is that they don't gel in as, uh, as you would normally expect in a team that plays together all the time. That's to be expected. On the other hand is the experience, and the steam gone out of Australia a little bit at this stage. I think those couple of counter-attacks by Israel have sat them back a little bit, but, but still plenty of time to go. And the thing is to try and play uh, with a bit more method pressure on not just the out and out uh, physical pressure and just put it in the air but try to play with a little bit more purpose and of course that's easier said than done sitting up here the atmosphere down there must be tremendous for the players Israel of course a fine side I think we've tended to underestimate just exactly what they can do but uh, at this stage pretty even Stevens I would like to see uh, a Wade and Davo trying to get forward a little bit more to perhaps service Krejcevic and Mitchell more from the goal line once the closer they get to that goal line the more dangerous the cross is. And uh, that's an aspect I'd like to see Australia improve on at this stage. Ginsberg with a long clearance finds Wade. Now Farina. Amar's foot comes in. And it's out of play again. It'll be an Australian throw. Lots of stops and starts to the game over the last 10, 15 minutes. Neither team has been, has been allowing the other to assume their full rhythm. Chavor. build-up from the attack, from the, from the uh, defence, the Australian trademark of recent years, and again, an Israeli free kick, to be taken by Avi Cohen, earning his 20th cap today. Forward again towards Farina and Krinchevich, but Pasolani is the man he finds. Here's Tikva. Now 
Aquino. Vincevic, lovely flick for Arnold. Can he find the space? He's fallen. The referee's given the free kick. Should Barcelona, the man giving it away. It shouldn't just be a free kick, Les. Could be yellow card. It is a yellow card. A correct decision. Arnold through with a chance to score. The professional foul outside the box and should be a yellow and uh, just indicates the quality of referee we have here today. But that was a splendid move. What a fine flick from Frenchovic to put Arnold through. And it was a much better build-up from Australia. Here's a good opportunity for the Yankos shot, the Prino bend, or perhaps the service to Mitchell or Frenchovic. Well, it'll be Charlie Yankos lining up for it. Prino's there as well. And Frank Garrod and Gary Cole watch anxiously as to the outcome. Frank has Frank Arrow has placed a lot of faith in the set pieces today. Free kicks, corners, and throw-ins. And there is a huge wall up for the Israelis. I can count six men back there. All lining up together. Well, the opportunity now, uh, Les, is the dummy. Wade is very, very free on this far side. I'm sure, should uh, Yankos push it to him, he'd be clear. You've also got Krenchevich on the edge of the wall. is very clear, although it's being covered now. A seven-man wall now. Eight players have gone in there. Sinai and Krinchevich. Uh, Krinchevich has moved away, but Farina is still in the... Or Mitchell is still in the wall. Yankos, and it's deflected. And Wade allows it behind for a corner. Crino quite correct there, asking the wall to move back, and the referee should have. It was only about eight yards, where it is the law to be ten yards from the ball. And the closer, of course, they put the wall to the free kick, the more it narrows the angle. Crino complaining about it. Perhaps they could have got it moved out and had more goal to shoot at. Here's the corner from Oscar Crino. Plenty of Australians, plenty of Israelis in the area. Up goes Krinchevich. And it's away by Davidi. The Israelis can break. Here's Gorsenthal. Ohana. And that'll be wasted from the Israeli point of view. Here's Shavu. Australia can mount another attack. That will give them a bit of confidence that last incident. A lovely break by Arnold. Here's Van Egmond. Away goes Arnold, and he's brought down again, this time by Klinger. Similar way to the way he was by Barcelani. And Arnold, currently the big target of the physical stuff from the Israelis. It was a ball sending him wide, and brought down by near Klinger. It'll be a free kick for the Australians, no sign of a yellow card. It's what Australia got to do a lot of, and Arnold and Crino finding space. Because Krenchevich Mitchell are really well picked up, there's space on the flanks for Arnold and uh, Crino to exploit, and that's the type of run that he has to do. Here's Crino, driving it in. Now Mitchell, knocking it back for Davidson. Over to Crino again. And he gets across in. Krenchevich is up there with the keeper. He falls loose, but... Bonnie Gisberg, a little bit lucky that the ball fell his way. Good service from Crino out there, Les. The type of ball our strikers need, the tall strikers need. They're a big threat in the air. There they are up above the Israeli defence. A lucky bounce for Ginsberg, but more of that from Australia. Now it looks like Yaron Pasolani is down, injured. The man injured, holding his face. And, uh, of course, at times like this, it's uh, a logical tactic to allow your team to get a breather. It's the Israelis who are under pressure at the moment, John. Les, it's something they're going to use all the game, and as the clock ticks on, they're going to do more of it. I'm sure Parcelani will play on. The tactic is to interrupt the rhythm of the Australian team, use up the clock, put them out of stride, and really, uh, I won't be surprised if uh, Longy, there's Amar saying it's an elbow from one of the Aussies. In actual fact, it was an elbow from Parcelani into his own goalkeeper. That old Parcelani is a past master at gamesmanship. It's interesting that he admitted after that uh, famous incident with Gary McDowell that he, well, he went open in the Israeli press to say that he didn't blame Gary McDowell for doing what he did because he'd been provoking him all day. Huge crowd here at the Sydney Football Stadium. It looks to us like a full house. And that certainly is a record for a soccer match at this stadium. Les, I think it's more than a full house because uh, behind our broadcasting box here we've got people standing up on the, on the northern end of the ground. They're standing six deep. Well, 
Well, it's certainly not an empty seat that I can see around the house. And now the Mexican wave is uh, being instituted by the wave. Right opposite us at the moment is a huge Mexican wave going around the stadium. Yankos forward. Throw in to the Israelis. Given away by Oscar Crino. There is the Mexican wave going around the stadium. We saw it in the World Cup in Mexico in 86. We saw it around the uh, cricket matches around Australia in the summer season. And now it's hit the World Cup qualifiers as well in this Oceania group. Huge atmosphere at the Sydney Football Stadium. I might say that even bigger than what we had at the Ramat Gan in Tel Aviv. Paul Wade forward for Klinchevich. Frank Farina trying to break from Amar. He can't. And that's given away by Amar for an Australian throw. Thirty-five minutes gone. No score in the big one between Australia and Israel. In comes the long throw towards Mitchell and Klinchevich. Neither of them can get ahead to it. Shabor tries to get away from Sinai. Those are the dangerous manoeuvres for Wally Shabor. That's forward by Davidson, but only finding Klinger. Farina now, and the whistle's gone. And Farina's most displeased about it, and the referee gives him a shove. And Frank Arok, I dare say, agrees with Frank Farina giving the referee a piece of his mind. There is the incident again. Well, I saw no foul there, I'm sorry. One of the Aussies played the ball here. It was, in fact, Alan Davidson, and Tikva fell as the ball was played. But the referee right on the spot. He was the man, he's the, he's the man in position to judge it. Klinger, Ohana, Klinger again. Through ball, dangerous move by the Israelis. The cross in. To Rosenthal, he can't get the proper head to it. Frank Arup wanted Jeff Olbert to release the Australians very quickly for the counter-attack. That's why he looked frustrated on the bench. And there is the incident again. It wasn't a bad move by the Israelis, but Rosenthal not being able to rise up high enough for it. Australians on the break. Here's Alan Davidson. Arnold and Crino. Back to Arnold. The Aussie strikers running off the ball. And Wade with a header. Had it been a little bit harder, it would have troubled Ginsberg. Had it been a little bit softer, Farina may have come in. There is the incident again. Long cross in. Not a bad header from Arnold, who's so good in the air, but not quite hard enough to trouble Ginsberg. Yankos breaking forward. And he finds Frank Farina if he can break. Trouble here for the Israelis, and he goes down. And it's given a corner. So Frank Farina wanted the penalty. He got one against Argentina in an identical position. The Australians go to the referee. Let's have a look at it. He may have over, overdone the dive, Frank Farina here, which tends to have the counter-productive result. I thought he was fouled. Well, I disagree with the referee entirely. Farina is away. There's the foul. There's no attempt to play the ball. Perhaps Frankie a little bit too theatrical, but uh, a penalty for my money list. In comes the corner. Punched by Ginsberg. Van Eggman. Paul Wade. Wants to whack this one back in. He waits too long. Back it goes for Van Eggman, across for Davidson, and Yankos, wrong side for him, but the Australians have still got it. Guido breaking on the left, here's Arnold, wants space, wants to shoot. A shoe has fallen off one of the Israeli players, and now the whistle finally got, blows and brings an end to those rather comical proceedings. There's Australia run the danger of 
with their enthusiasm of blocking up the middle of the park, we've got Arnold going through the middle, we've got Mitchell, Greeno there going through the middle, Frenchovic going through the middle, and it's very easy to counter that. You just consolidate your defence and virtually just mark a very, very limited area. I know everyone wants to get at that goal as quickly as they can, but Australia's got to play them wide. We're going to have two guys wide with virtually the sideline dust on their shoes to stretch Israel and leave more room through the middle. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of incidents like that where really it is more a matter of luck than any, uh, than any great skill that's going to enable you to break through that defence. So, free kick to Israel. The shoe has been found. And Pony Ginsberg can take a breather as he will take his time to release these railings. Now we have 40 minutes on the clock, and it's still nil-nil. A scoreline which still favours the Israelis. Alon. Rosenthal with Chavor, his eternal marker. And that's given away by Wade as he slipped on the turf. Les, I think we're unfortunate we have an Italian referee in one sense, that in Italy, as you're aware, there's a real clamp down on players diving in the box. And I think that uh, was a factor that went against Farina. It's quite easy on the replay. It certainly seemed a penalty to me and to, and to yourself. But I think the fact that the Italian referee uh, used to it in Italy where players really dive and it's real skill to do it. Trouble here, Ali O'Hara can put this one away and he will. The Israelis are leading. The 40,000 here is going to be stunned. A real uphill task now for the Australians. And it was an error at the back that led to it. Tragedy for the Australians. 40 minutes have gone. Just five minutes to go before the break. Eli Ohana breaking through. But by that time, the error had been made. There is the incident again. Yankos not being able to hold on to the ball and Eli Ohana had all the time in the world to put it away. John, a tragedy for the Socceroos. A tragedy, Les. We've been, it looked as though we'd get caught out a few times today. That's just one of those mistakes that happened. Unfortunately, it falls to a player of Ohana's class. He doesn't lose his head in front of goal, dribbled over well and put it away. So, unfortunate for Australia, the game goes like that sometimes or many times. We go back to the penalty. It was an incident uh, which really should have been a penalty. And now instead of being one up, we're one down. The lads have really have the job ahead of them now. And it it's really is a time for cool heads. And hopefully uh, Australia can prevail and get back in this match. OK, the Australians renowned for their resolve. Here they come. This is David Mitchell. Alan Davidson knocks it in. It swings in nicely for Crino and Ginsberg misses that. But the whistle's gone for a foul on Ginsberg. He has a go at Oscar Crino. Sent in a nice cross by Alan Davidson. Credo went up for it. I didn't think he even touched the goalkeeper. Might be a better view of it here. It was a duel between Ginsberg and Credo. Yeah, there was a nudge there, Les. But that type of positioning from Davidson, the closer to the goal line our guys can get and cross it, as in Davidson's case there, the more dangerous to cross. It just needs to be cut back a little bit. Arena was probably an ideal target there. It was too close to the keeper. The good positioning from Davidson will need to happen in both sides of the field. So, it'll be a free kick now to the Australians. There's still plenty of time in this match. It's imperative that the Australians don't rush things and leave themselves open at the back. But they will have to fall on all their famous resolve to overcome this one. Charlie Yankos with the long one. Mitchell's in there. Ginsberg comes. And it's gone in! And the referee's blown. It's, given, it's not given. The referee had blown before the shot was taken for a foul on the goalkeeper. Well, there's... I really don't know. I mean, the keeper is, is at least 12 metres from his line here. It's a fair challenge. No, in, in uh, retrospect, I shouldn't be a referee. No, it was. Uh, Krenchevich has gone in, into the back of him. Good decision from the referee. There's Krenchevich going in, not going for the ball. On first impression, it wasn't a foul, but uh, 
a good reason why I'm not a referee, Les. Well, he's the man on the spot. He's the man with the experience. And he was certainly right on this occasion. The Australians piling the pressure back on. It must be absolute agony to call on all that resolve now, John, to come back from uh, this sort of deficit. Frank Arrock cannot do any more than just sit there at the moment. Well, we have seen the Australians fight against the odds and fight well. They are not playing Argentina today. They are not playing Brazil. They are not playing Yugoslavia. But they are in a situation where they've got their backs to the wall. And Eddie Kvitsovic has been booked for that foul on Bonnie Ginsberg. So that's the second booking of the game, the earlier one going to Yaron Pasolani. So two names in the book after 44 minutes. We are approaching half-time. Apart from that dreadful and tragic error at the back, I don't think the coaching staff of the Australians can complain too much about the Australian display. Let's give credit where it's due. We are seeing a very resolute fighting Israel here. And they're not an easy opponent. This has been the most resolute Israel that I have seen in recent times. One against two. Arnold forward for Princevic. Knocked on. Amar with a clearance. There'll be a lot of those wild clearances from the Israelis now. Pick the ball anywhere. So long as it doesn't go anywhere near the goalkeeper. Schnell and Grunman, the two happiest men in the stadium at the moment. Charlie Yankos will need to rally his men. Here's Davidson. Van Egner. Across for Yankos. Back to Olga. Lofting it. Frito. Tikva. Davidson has arrived for the challenge. And has Frito. Referee won't fall for that one. And now it's Alon in on Fincevic, and Alon has earned the yellow more than once already today. He did it all day in Tel Aviv, I must say, and he's doing it here today. Have a look at it, because it's a classic example. Uh, here, this is the second incident where Trino, uh, sorry, the earlier incident where Tikva went down, the referee said, play on. And there is the challenge from behind on Eddie Krinchevic. And this might be a clear view of it. And Nid Alon walks away unscathed at the moment. Here's Frank Farina. Pass two. Cleared by Alon. Yankos. Frida. two minutes into injury time. One nil to Israel as we approach the break. Wally Shavar not managing to get it quite past Yehuda Amar. It'll be an Australian throw. It'll be taken by Shavar himself. The Australians rally into the penalty area. Try to get away from their markers. Long one in. Krinchevich gets ahead to it. The whistle's gone again. And it'll be an Israeli free kick. He has seen an infringement. Long throw in from Wally Shavor. And there somewhere was an infringement by an Australian, according to Carlo Longhi. So Bonnie Ginsberg wanting to take his time to allow the clock. Tick away. Here's Sinai. Hasn't really been in the game all that much. Hasn't been in the game all that much recently at all, in fact. Van Egmont. Way. He's 
really slows down very quickly on these midfielders. Harvey Cohen. Not allowing the Australian midfielders to settle at all. This is very much a different Israel to the one we saw in Auckland. Klinger. Miscue cross. Here's Wade. A long one towards Farina. Harvey Cohen was in there quickly. Harvey Cohen, one of the better performers of the Israelis in the last couple of years. And the whistle's gone for the break. So we have seen a dramatic first half here with all the pressure. Yeah. Best performance over the years. Uh, he's probably performed as much the same as anyone else at this stage of the game. Uh, a very, very hard worker, one who gets wide on the right. It comes from Mexico. to our left as this cross comes in from Frank Farina. Up goes Ginsburg. Misses it. And it'll be a goal kick. The fans in our position thought the ball was maybe falling gratefully into the back of the net, but it was in fact well wide. And Bonnie Ginsburg escapes. Better type of cross, Les, but even closer to the goal line will do us even better. But I think you have to pay tribute to Ginsburg. He He's unlike many, many goalkeepers, he's willing to take a risk and come well off his line. He's aware of the threat of Krenchevich. And any time well from goal, Krenchevich gets the ball, he's, he's getting off his line. Brave tactics. Hopefully he's going to miss one of them. And we'll be able to get back on the level soon. Here's Barcelona forward with a clearing header towards Rosenthal, grappling with Wally Chavo as he's been doing all day. Alon. Clearing this time from David Mitchell gone out off Davidson for an Israeli throw. Time is of the essence now and the Israelis will take a lot of time about every set-piece move, every throw, every free kick, every clearance. Here's Ohana. Van Eggman back to his keeper. There's a lot of cushion here for the Israelis. The Australians need to win. They have to score two goals. So even if the Aussies get an equaliser, it's a long way back for them. The Israelis can afford to kill time. Crino. Marina in. Crino on to Peterson. And he gives it away, but gets it back. Does well to recover. Farina again. Now, Frankie Farina is playing wider than he did in the first half, and that's a good sign. In comes the cross. Away by Pastelani, straight at Sinai. Ohana tries to break away from Van Egmond. Klinger, Sinai. The Israelis are breaking here. The Aussie defenders will have to regroup. In comes the cross, finds Credo. Van Egmond back to his keeper. Cool work by the Australians. Jeff Olver quick to release Oscar Credo. It goes out of Shalom Tikva. Peterson will be a busy man this, this second half, I should expect. He's a fresh boy on the park. Here's Mitchell with a good turn and a good run. And he flies away. First real shot of the second half coming from David Mitchell. And really the best run of the game for him. Turned well again. He's so good on the turn, David Mitchell. Found the space to get the shot in, but couldn't quite find the right angle. Powerful run by David Mitchell. He did so much for the Israelis in the past, and I'm sure they were wary of him there. Here's Ohana. Peterson, Davidson, through for Krinchevic. And this time, Arby Cohen and Krinchevic must be bruised black and blue in the back of his legs from all the chopping he's getting. Have a look at it again, and it's not the first time you've seen that, and I dare say not the last today. Free kick to the Australians. 
Ricky Peterson driving it in. Davidson. Peterson again. Wants to go wide so he can get the crossing, but he chooses the other way. Davidson loses out to Ohana. Now, Credo. Can he do a telling pass here? He wants the dribble. Peterson with the volley. And he flies away, and in the end, turns out to be something that'll take up valuable seconds for the Israelis. Oscar Credo may have done better to pass the ball through to a man rather than dribble. And Nicky Peterson's effort was, in the end, a token one. Header forward by Chavo, then by Alon. Farina. Challenge from Amar is out of play for an Australian throw. the Australians keep possession and take the game to the Israelis and now a foul throw has been judged by the linesman and possession goes back to the Israelis drama at the football stadium and Frank Arosh's biggest day ever and so far it has not worked out for him Yehuda Amar will take the throw. Now Charlie Yankos, long one, looking for Mitchell, who's gone on a good run. He needs support from behind. Farina's there. He goes into the gap. Here's Mitchell across the field to Peterson. A good ball. And he's dispossessed by Ronnie Rosenthal. And again, the Australian rhythm interrupted by what seems like hours being taken up by Bonnie Ginsberg. Ohana. Rosenthal. Foul by Rosenthal. For Wally Chavo. kick to be taken by Oscar Trino. The Australians root themselves in the penalty area. It's a long one forward. Mitchell's there. Cleared, but not very well. But far enough by Avi Cohen. Here's Klinger. Arnold chasing back to do some tackling. And finally back as far as Yankos. Ostapino. Challenge coming from Rosenthal, a rather robust challenge, and he wins it. And here's the counter-attack from Israel. Davidi was the man who tried to break on the left. Good work by Gary Van Egmond. Frank Farina losing out to Arby Cohen. It's out of play. Arby Cohen colliding with the linesman. Who's Michel Girard of France. And the throw will be by Davidson. Here's Jack Box. Long one towards Arnold. The header on. Bonnie Ginsberg, safe arms that he possesses. Still effervescent this Israeli team. Stuck to their task well. Davidson, Mitchell and Harvey Cohen, this was gone for a foul by Mitchell. Harvey Cohen with a free kick. Peterson. 
Everton. And Vucevic tried the one-two. Peterson. And it's out of play for an Aussie throw. Quickly taken. Here's Mitchell. And he can't get the foot to it. He can't get the angle to it. He tried to hook it in towards Arnold, who was running in on the six-yard line. David Mitchell out of luck with a good quick throw. There is the earlier challenge. And the throw quickly taken. David Mitchell couldn't quite hook it in. And Bonnie Ginsburg happy to allow it to go behind the byline. Here are the Aussies again. Peterson, busy man already. about what substitutions Frank Arok might make later in the game. The remaining men on the bench for the Australians, apart from goalkeeper Mike Gibson, are Andrew Kotska, Scott Oleran Shaw, and Paul Trimboli. So the two strikers and a sweeper still on the bench. Here's Eli Ohana as the Israelis break. Three against four. Moshe Sinai with him is Shavo. And misunderstanding between him and Ronnie Rosenthal. Peterson. Frido. And Frido was not having the best of days. Here they break again. Moshe Sinai. This is dangerous. And fortunately for Australia, he misused the right footer. Goes well wide. He knows how to take men on and elude them. Moshe Sinai, he made good space on the right. Charlie Yankos wasn't there. Put him under a bit of pressure and he miscued the shot. Moshe Sinai, one of the real cultured players of this Israeli team. Not having much luck in these World Cup qualifiers so far. And again, a foul on Frinchevich. And now the yellow card, finally, and thank you, Gracias tanto, Señor Longhi. It is about time that a challenge like that on Eddie Krinchevich had the right recriminations. This time it wasn't Niralon, it was Yehuda Amar, and he was the man booked. So the third booking of the game as Australia get a free kick. Be taken by Yankos towards Pinchevich, away by Avi Cohen. Mitchell is there, but the Israelis very quick to put the pressure back on, and that's a foul. And this time, Mitchell is going to be penalized for the foul on Rosenthal. And definitely the right decision a late challenge from David Mitchell. boys must be counting the minutes as we all are for different reasons here's Yehuda Amar long one towards Rosenthal the eternal target man and out it goes for an Israeli throw who are in no hurry the Israelis to take it fling a trot across at a nice easy pace Charlie Yankos here. Peterson. 
Marina wants it on the far right. And that's Arnold. A little bit of luck needed for the Aussies when those little flicks are taken by them. Close to the penalty area. And that's out of play. Off the back of Shalom Tikva. Here's Yankos. Across for Van Egmond. Shovel is available on the right. And then Farina on the touchline. And it's the long one towards Princevich. And Peterson in well. But it's the Israelis who are allowed to come away. Sinai. Rosenthal. Goes on one of his explosives on. And Peterson brings him down. And the referee wants Peterson. He summoned him back. And he's going to have a strong word to him. He's not reaching for his pocket. There it is again. Very much a late challenge. Case of obstruction from Nicky Peterson. And it'll be an Israeli free kick. comes the free kick from Amar. Davidson. In for Peterson. Down to Frida. Yankos. Back to Frida. Princevich. And an Israeli throw. It went off Princevich. Well, the Israelis are now, I suppose, understandably from their point of view, taking an agonizingly long time to take the throw ins. In the meantime, Fortune Bowley, by the way, for the Aussies, is warming up on the sidelines. Sinai. He wants to get a shot in. Back it goes for Rosenthal. Ohana's on the left. Challenge coming in from Van Egmond. Rosenthal again. Fino wins the ball. The Aussies have to break quickly. Mitchell. Well, that's been something we've seen all through the first half, that the big strikers, Mitchell and Kvinchevich, were receiving the ball with their backs to the Israeli goal. And there's not much they can do in that sort of situation. John, uh, what are your impressions so far? Well, it's, it's still very much the same as the first half. We're not uh, really getting into those dangerous flank positions to provide the service in the middle. And as uh, the minutes tick by, more and more Israel, who are quite capable of catching Australia on the break as Australia push forward, they're growing in stature. And unless we can create something on the side of the field, we're not going to get into this game. Farida with a strong run, but he was robbed by Tikva. Ohana, good work, offside surely, yes, the flag's up. And Avi Cohen kicks the ball away to kill some valuable seconds, and the referee has a strong word for it. Tells him in whatever language he's speaking that uh, he does it again and he's off. There is a clamp down on wasting time, which all teams these days are capable of. And that's a lovely cross in from Fino. But the target man isn't there. Peterson! And it's just wide. Peterson looking the hungriest man in this Australian lineup so far in the second half, which is understandable. He's a fresh man. It came onto him nicely, swung the right foot and went centimetres wide of the right-hand post. And significantly, Les, the, the opportunity coming from a break on the left from Crino. Now, either Crino, Peterson, or Farina operating both flanks, or even Mitchell opening up. Have to open up on the side, open this Israeli defence up. If you're going to play through the middle, as we've done too much today, there's just not the room Israel have got it covered, and we're going to face uh, them hitting us on counter-attacks like this one. Here's Moshe Sinai, as the ball continues to fall for the Israelis. But Jeff Olva, bravely out, quickly out, doing his job splendidly today. For a man who's been under such pressure because of his less than brilliant display in Auckland, he's done extremely well today. Well, 
Jeff Olver. He's the hero so far, but we want some heroes up front. Pinchevich. Cross for Davidson. Long cross towards Arnold now. Amar. Not enough Aussies up there. Farina comes in. Farina continually switching flanks. Peterson and Davidi. And a foul from behind on Graham Arnold. And Australia gets a free kick about three metres out of the penalty area. So we're looking about 19, 20 metres from goal for this challenge by Yaron Pasolani on Graham Arnold. Graham Arnold has been the target, the front of a lot of physical work by the Israelis today, and there's an example of it, but it is risky. It gives away the free kick. Charlie Yankos, please. May your ability to take free kicks not desert you now. Or will it be Oscar Pino? Yankos or Pino, the wall is up. Australia needs two goals to advance to the next stage of the World Cup. And it's Yankos' shot. Going wide again. Well, it's been Israel's day. On a more fortunate day, that would have been closer to Bonnie Ginsberg. Indirect free kick, as it happened. And a huge wall up for the Israelis. It went past the wall, but past the goal as well. Barcelani with the goal kick. And Rosenthal goes down. I, I disagree with that decision by referee Longy. It was Rosenthal who backed into Chabot and fell in the process. But that's my opinion, not his. And his is the one that counts. In fact, Ronnie Rosenthal is quite a master at doing that, inviting the foul when the ball is lost. And Frank Farina is being substituted, and that is a dramatic decision, really. And the man to come on is Paul Trimboli. Well, unexpected. It's young Paul Trimboli, 20 years of age, the baby of this Australian squad. But he has scored in each of the two games that he came on as a substitute for Australia. And it's quite a moment for him. It's a free kick to Israel by Yehuda Amar. And it flies away to nobody in particular. John, a comment on the substitution? Well, it is a surprise, Les. Uh, Farina at least is playing wide. And that's something that we really don't have about our game at the moment. I felt if anyone was to come on, it would probably would be Oleren Shaw, who was a natural left-sided player, and play on the wing. But uh, it's desperation times for Australia. I mean, we will probably look back on this... Uh, this change and be critical of it, but should Trimboli, of course, score, uh, Frank Arrow will be proved right once again. But a strange substitution for me. In comes the cross for the Israelis this time. Davidson. Pino tries to go around his man, who's fling up. Yankos and Davidson now. Service to the front man is needed, but what kind of service is the question? Trimboli with a return ball for Arnold. Barcelona was in quick. Peterson. Australians are playing for their World Cup survival. Frino. And for many players, indirectly, it's survival altogether. Here's Chavor. Left foot across in towards Grinchevich. He didn't go for it. Mitchell, Trimboli with a cross in, Finchovic, straight into the arms of Bonnie Ginsberg. How fortunate that goalkeeper is. A splendid keeper, Bonnie Ginsberg, and he really has been a fortunate man today. That was good work by Paul Trimboli. That cross was, was impeccable. Finchovic getting up for the header, but couldn't get any power onto it. Mitchell did some damage here. 
finding fortune Bowley, a lovely cross in. And Bonnie Ginsberg, the fortunate man. Bonnie Shadow. Mitchell chasing with Tikva. Goal kick given. 24 minutes gone, and it's still nil one. One nil to Israel. Shell on Tikva. One of 11 Israeli players, none of whom could be faulted today. And Jakob Grunman is issuing more instructions, analyzing perhaps the substitution that this man has made by bringing in Paul Trimboli for Frank Farina. And Van Egmond and Tim Bowley now is an excellent holding the ball, but he gave it away that time. It wasn't taken away from him. Mitchell breaks through with a strong run. Not enough power behind the shot to worry Bonnie Ginsberg. David Mitchell, the real trier of this Australian front line at the moment. He's bought some glimmer of hope here and there for the Australians with his strong running. His shooting, though, so far has let him down. Peterson, flinger away. And there is the incident again of David Mitchell's sortie, and he's had quite a few. And here's the Israelis with a break, a dangerous one. Good save again by Olba. Fought in two minds scurried back quickly and did some good work and really counter-attacks at that time must not be allowed although one must sympathize with the Socceroos now as we look at that incident again Jeff Olver brilliant on this particular day a deft little chip in a little tap in by Shalom Tikba and Jeff Olver did so well but we must sympathize with the Australians who will be so eager to score here that they cannot pay attention to everything on the field all at once. Klinger. It'll be an Israeli throw. Frank Barrow contemplates the remaining 20 minutes or so, 19 minutes to go in this match. been able to beat Australia. Here's Pimboli. And Arnold, can he find the space? No, he can't. Alon brings it away. Ohana and Davidi. Moisha Sinai. We are saying the Israelis have not been able to beat Australia in five games under the Frank Arab era. He's had the mocker on them. They may have chosen a dreadful day from our point of view in which to make history. Trino. Princevich. Good ball in towards Trimboli. Well away. Alon. And Davidson with the volley. That was very fortunately blocked. The Davidson volley, fortunately for the Israelis, Sinai, sweeping ball across the tickler, he's good at those, Mitchell arrives and a handball has been given, Australia wants two goals from the remaining 17 minutes. And it'll be a free kick to Israel. 
Tikva and Sinai are there. It's well within Sinai's range. Three-man wall up. Israel is taking again a very long time about taking this pick. Charlie Ankos looks across. Another word to the referee. Here's Sinai. Curling it towards Rosenthal. He got ahead to it, but I don't think he knew too much about it. It'll be a goal kick. So, Isaac Schnauer and Jakob Grunman. They will be the greatest heroes in Israel since Moshe Dayan. If this scoreline remains. Vicky Peterson. Prino. Cross for Shavor. Away he goes, away from Davidi, who brings him down and brings him down cleanly. No foul. Here's Rosenthal. And he breaks. And he's not brought down. The danger's on here's Ohana. He's dispossessed very easily, though, by Davidson. Thank goodness for Davo. Here's Peterson, but he loses out. The pressure's back on. Tikva. Through ball. Finds only Wally Shavu. Well, we're all with the Aussies now. We all wish we would be down on the field with them. for those 11 human beings on that green turf now. Here's Mitchell. And again. Davidi. Davidi Flinger. Straight at Charlie Ankos. And that's cleared away rather by Avi Cohen who's at this moment paying attention to Eddie Krinchevich hey, hey. Fortune Bowley inside for Oscar Krina good ball flicked on by Peterson Chavo is going to be under this away by Parcelani here's Credo Finds his man in Graham Arnold, who gets the cross end quickly. Ginsburg comes and comes well. Well, we've said that Ginsburg has been one of the mainstays of this Israeli side. And he hasn't put a foot wrong today. Coming out powerfully, reading the cross well. And, uh, all the Israelis are interested in is getting the ball out of their own half. The back it comes from Charlie Yankos towards Trimboni. Out of play. Israeli throw, and those balls hit out of play at the Australians' express, uh, expense can be very costly indeed because they take very long to get back into play. Amar. Peterson steals it. Away by Davidi. Yankos. The Australians must muster a goal here at least to give them the boost to maybe get a second. We have uh, spoken about the goal that Australia conceded and the error that was made that led to it. But of course, even without that goal, the Australians needed to score and they haven't done so far. Peterson. Shovel. Arnold. Grafting and working hard. Shovel with a cross in. Almost finds Chimboli. A little flick from Frito. And it's Arnold blocked. Mitchell. 
A sea of blue shirts back there are thwarting the Australians. Forward by Yankos. No flag up. Peterson's going to get the ball, is he? No, it's out of play. Well, some fireworks inside that Israeli penalty area. David Mitchell had the best opportunity, but it was well blocked and hooked away. And the Australians forced to come back again. Here's, Yan here's Arnold. Peterson. Kimboli wanting to get a curly cross in under pressure by Ginsburg, but no real problem. There's a man down near this touchline nearest to us from the Israeli team. Looks like Eli Ohana, in fact, who's down. And these are agonizing times. John, I don't know if uh, it's worth analyzing much more apart from saying that uh, the Australian resolve must persevere for the remaining minutes. Well, not just the resolve, Les, but the method. And I think if we're to be critical of the team today, they really haven't created enough on the flanks. It's been precious stuff through the middle. Israel have handled it admirably. They've cut out the threat of uh, Frenchovich, Mitchell and company simply because they haven't got the service from those vital areas on the flanks. We've failed to exploit it and uh, that's been the case in, uh, in the preceding 80 minutes. One would feel that in the last 10 the chances of us getting the two goals necessary very, very slim indeed. Uh, really shades of what happened in 69 when we needed to win here ended up with a draw and uh, we made all the running or all the pressure but perhaps not enough method and it's been a very similar story so far today hopefully it will change but on what we've seen it won't here's peterson that's away by ahmad yankos flick inside from pino for chimboli reverse cross and handball claim the referee has not given it David Mitchell runs to the referee and now Ohana breaks for the Israelis and he's on his own, this could be curtains for Australia and he can't get past Davidson, now Rosenthal fires one in but it's well over a handball claimed at the other end the Australian players were most convinced that it was handball Trimboli made the cross here and there it hit the hand there of is. I think Shalom Tikva and there is the injustice of it all in, uh, in Tel Aviv, Alan Davidson was a judge to have given away a penalty for if something exactly the same, the ball was hit onto his hand, it was accidental, he got the penalty against him. Had he not done so, Australia may not be in this, in this position now. And it's uh, now the Australians who are denied. No doubt a penalty, Liz. That's the second decision. Uh, if Australia have any saving grace today, it's the fact that two penalty, very legal, uh, legitimate penalty decisions have gone against them. That was another one coming at uh, just the right time with uh, 10 minutes or so to go. And Israel can consider themselves very lucky to get away with that. Certainly a more severe penalty than the one given against Davidson in Tel Aviv. Because a goal chance was certainly on there. Well, Shalom Tikva, the man who committed the handball, gets away now from his man and manages to send a low cross in but finds only Oscar Fino who has to clear Trimboli Mitchell's on the left free and available men in the middle for Australia needed there's Arnold as Mitchell switches play locked it in towards Grinchevich Mitchell with a header but it's too soft and it's not going to worry Bonnie Ginsburg at all football they say the number's got to come up sometime and the number has come up so far for Australia today there remains just seven minutes in the game a monumental task to achieve in those seven minutes two goals to be scored and the legs must be weary for these men for Wally Shavor and his colleagues Indeed, they must be weary for the Israelis who 
has played the game impeccably today. Trimboli, Harvey Cohen is there with him and it'll be a goal kick. Frustration continues now for the youngster for Trimboli. He has played one game for Australia in a full international shirt. two games and has been a valuable substitution and he hasn't done badly today it'll be a throw by Shalom Tikva of Israel Charlie Yankos Jeff Olba Peterson, Davidson, and again the Israelis get, get to the ball first, now Mitchell, Arnold, Yossi's not getting the bounce, Arnold again, Shavo, Yankos, Sends it forward, straight at Trinchevich, the header down, Mitchell's there, but not there quick enough, and there's a free kick to Australia. The raised left arm means it's an indirect. In fact, he's given it to Israel. It's a free kick to Israel. And there is the incident. And up went the legs, and there was the sole of... David Mitchell's left foot into the Israeli player. <laughs> valuable seconds now going, although the clock has been stopped, of course, by referee Carlo Longhi. And careers on the line in this match for the Australians. Their age group is such that many of them will not survive for the next World Cup campaign, should they lose this match. And certainly not for the next Olympic campaign, which is a different kettle of fish altogether nowadays that uh, the age limit is 23. The average age of the Australians is just over 26. The same, by the way, as the Israelis. and Trimboli is put it away a glimmer of hope for the Australians the long ball up the middle Paul Trimboli has put it away most astutely a brilliant goal for the Australians Arnold got up for the header beautifully and Trimboli judged the volley brilliantly a brilliant goal for the Australians the only thing wrong with it is that there's only three minutes now, two minutes to go in the game. And Trimboli has put it in and gave Australia a glimmer of hope. Well, two minutes on the clock after that goal. That's the scoreline. Australia won, Israel won. And the wasting of time that the Israelis have employed in the second half might just work against them now they make a substitution the number 14 coming on is Eitan Aharoni who's a defender and the man he's replacing is Shalom Tikva John a great goal perhaps too late uh, coming Les but uh, Trimboli 
a beautiful volley but well laid on by Mitchell uh, the only determining thing now is how long is the referee going to add on for uh, stoppages and time wasting but again uh, shades of 69 I, I just keep uh, like a replay of 69 in that game also Australia equalized perhaps too late but now is the time they've really just got to, to pump it high there's no need for football now just put it up in the box I've been against them for doing that too much in the game but now with no time remaining just to put it up throw all the big men forward and hope the ball bounces kindly for them barely more than injury time left in the game 30 seconds of the 90 minutes still to go by my watch as the referee awards Israel a free kick and he's just told the Israelis that he's going to stop the watch in fact has stopped the watch every time they prepare for a free kick like this and take such a long time about it so we could uh, with a bit of luck see something like three minutes of uh, stoppage time here before it's all over Moshe Sinai fires it long and Australia is in need of, of a very quick and fast moving ball boy and Jakob Grunman wants to make a substitution Mir Levin striker is the man that they want to bring on as Jeff Oliver pumps this one forward he's bound for full time by my reckoning he's added on just 30 seconds of stoppage time and that to me is impossible 45 minutes and 32 seconds on my watch and the Israelis celebrate well tragedy for the Australians in more ways than one they surround the referee and the Australian players and the Australian officials must be careful about what they do here. Frank Arrow can't believe it that he's blown so early. There, there was quite a number of injuries. And up front, uh, Christian Tullock and Hudson have got some uh, explosive speed and the United States will want to watch uh, some of those players coming down the sides in particular. Now, uh, for the United States, uh, the coach, uh, Lothar Osiander, and of course he had had already has had some great success with this team uh, bringing it to the Olympic Games coming up in Seoul shortly, uh, but he has a lineup today that will feature, as we mentioned, uh, Vinoli and Goal. In the back four of uh, Trichu, Kevin Crow as sweeper, Mike Windisman, although he may move into midfield, and Desmond Armstrong on the right to fullback position. And listed as midfielders are Rick Davis, uh, Paul Crumpy, who may in fact play a little bit more withdrawn, and Brian Bliss. And up front, Frankie Klopas, uh, Jimmy Cabarra, Peter Vermes. Jimmy Cabarra, of course, scored a terrific, uh, important goal from the United States in this very park, JP, uh, to knock Canada out of the uh, Olympic qualifying round uh, a couple of, about a year or so ago. 